Hello everybody, Ellis Motion here, and welcome back to another LEGO Minecraft World Update video. It has been a while since I last made an update to this build, and I finally, after like a month, have decided to update the build again for you guys, and yeah, I have quite a few different things to show you guys in this video, so without further ado, let's get right into the update. So most of the things here have kind of stayed the same until we get over to this corner here, where I've actually added a path into the little area here where the house is. Before, I think I just had a path going all the way up to the house, or no path at all, I completely forgot, but last update um, was a little bit different in this area. I added a path going across here, going up to the gate here at the end, and just goes down to the riverbank. That was not there before, I think that looks pretty good. Pretty happy with how that looks. I also added some tops onto these little lantern builds, actually a custom design. I added this little rounded modified piece on the top there. I think it just looks a little more accurate to what you'd find in game and I think that just looks a lot nicer. So I did that to every single lantern on the build as well as on the bridge here. I think it just looks a lot better and a little more accurate to what you find in game. I just find the official design to be a little bit lacking. But moving on over here, we can see I have added a forest build. Before this was just a plain flat area. I decided to put a forest here. I think it looks really, really nice. I have my custom birch tree designs as well as my custom beehive tree design over there with some flowers as well as some bees. I think it's a nice little touch of detail for the area, just giving the area a little more life. I think I made this area look pretty accurate, just cramming the trees together in an accurate way. We have someone chopping some trees down. We have a stump sitting there as well. Just nicely decorated with some flowers, some figures, and yeah, very happy with how that looks. The trees kind of go up the side of the hill there as well which I think looks pretty nice. And I think this area just looks pretty accurate. Definitely happy with the looks of this. And I think it's a nice touch of detail to the build. Moving on to the biggest part of the update behind the village where I've added a bit of a hill. Before this was a very bland and flat forest area. In the last video, I said I was gonna get rid of it and switch it out with something else. So that's what I did here. I added a whole other hill build. I think it looks perfect. And I think it works really well for the build. Has some birch trees kind of coming up the sides of the hill. Not the best, I think I could have had more trees, but I kind of ran out of pieces to build more trees, so this is kind of all I can do for now. But in the future, I'd like to detail it a little bit more and add more trees to the hillside. But for now, this looks pretty good. We have a waterfall kind of going down the side. And I think this little hill or cliff face looks pretty good and pretty accurate to what you'd find in game. Up on top of the hill, it's pretty flat, but I do have the return of the portal ruin. This is the exact same portal ruin design, exact same build from my last LEGO Minecraft world. I just liked the build so much, I decided to put it in this world. It's just sitting up on the hilltop. We have this kind of creeper guy kind of going out here and exploring and checking out what's in that chest and taking the gold blocks. Very nice. I think this looks pretty good having it up here. I think it fills up the space very nicely and just kind of looks really nice. It's kind of hiding in the trees. I think it just is a nice touch of detail to have for the build. And I think I did a pretty good job kind of integrating that into the mock. Now this is not just a mountain build. Behind the mountain, we actually have a few different builds. Right here, we have a bit of a zombie dungeon. I wanted to add a Minecraft dungeon into a mock for a while now, so I finally did it with this LEGO Minecraft world. I think this looks pretty good. And we also have a horde of zombies attacking one of the LEGO Minecraft furries, which is defenseless with their wood pickaxe. But yeah, very small build, but I think it did a pretty good job, and I think it looks pretty nice in the back of this build. Moving to the back of the hill, we can take a better look at the details here. I think I did a pretty good job here. We have a wolf kind of hiding in the back of the forest there. Uh, I think this looks pretty good. We also have a bit of the netherrack kind of going deeper into the ground. Nice, accurate touch of detail. Forget I did that. For, just forget that happened. I will fix that in the future, I'm sorry. <laughs> and the last build over here is a geode. I actually had this build built for a while. I wanted to integrate it into the LEGO Minecraft world for a very long time, and I finally did it. I think this is a very nice touch of detail. It's nicely built with some crystals in there. We have someone in there kind of harvesting the amethyst crystals. I think I did a pretty good job. This looks a lot better than my older version. It's a lot more rounded. I think it just looks a little more accurate. I think I did a pretty good job with this build. I could have done better, but I only had a limited amount of purple pieces. But with the pieces I had, I think I did a pretty good job with this build, and I think it's a very nice touch of detail to have in the back of the build. Another really tiny update I've made is actually over here in the back of the ravine. I added a tiny little bit of a cave build back here. Before it was blocked off, I decided to open it up, add a little more detail and just add a bit of a cave build in there. It's not the biggest update, but it's still something different and I think it looks pretty good. And yeah, I think that is it for the update. If, sorry, this update is pretty late. It's been a while since I made the last update video, but it is finally out. And I'm excited to update this thing in the future. But yeah, that is it for the video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the build and what should I do next in this mock. 
That's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in another LEGO video. Have a great day. Oh, let's go for a bag of chips. Didn't know that was there.